Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're in the plains of southeast Montana and we're hunting prairie dogs. We're out here with Keith Warren and his daughter Maddie Warren, plus the guys from Freedom Munitions who helped set all this up and are supplying all the ammunition for this afternoon's hunt. Now we're out here, we've moved around a little bit. Uh, we've been hunting some prairie dog villages all afternoon and having a really good time. We've been hitting prairie dogs anywhere from 50 yards all the way out to 400 yards or more. And so that's what this video is about today, guys. We're doing some prairie dog hunting and uh, we're gonna show you some cool new products, some new product from Freedom Munitions, a rifle I think you guys are gonna wanna see from Falcor Defense and some optics and even a scope cam that I think you guys are gonna find interesting. Stick around, I think you're gonna enjoy the video. Got him. He, he's flopping around down there. Running to the right. Got him. Yep. Got him on that one. Holy cow. Yeah, I think you got that one. I think so. Oh! Keith, I want to show you something. Now, as you know, shooting these gas guns out here, as much as we are this afternoon, these guns get hot, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a barrel system. It's called the Dracos. I don't know what's in it, but what I can tell you is they give you a lifetime guarantee on the barrel, 223, 300 wind mag, 6.5 Creedmoor. But what's really unique about it is it's really stiff, very firm barrel, great accuracy, but it dissipates heat in some magical way, and don't ask me how it does it. But I'm a trigger puller. I'm not a scientist. So what I'm going to do is drop the magazine out of here. I'm going to run a 30-round magazine through this gun into the dirt just as fast as I can. Would you stick your finger in that chamber right now? No way. Oh, come on. Stick your finger in there. Do you feel it even a slight bit, slightest bit of heat? How do they do that? I don't know. And right, you can stick your finger in there and touch the barrel. I mean, put your hand around the hand guard. Do you feel any heat coming off that barrel? No. Okay, and what kind of barrel? It's called a Dracos barrel. It's, it was originally called Straight Jacket, and it's been rebranded and sold now as the Dracos barrel. And like I said, people don't believe me. <laughs> And that it's insane. Believe me, believe me. <laughs> right? You don't want to believe it, but it's, it's that is insane. I mean, trust me, my finger was in there. I mean, that that's unreal. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't touch that suppressor though. No, that suppressor. <laughs> that's why I have to let it cool down. I can shoot this gun all day long. It's a suppressor. I have to let it cool off. Right. I wish they make a suppressor out of that. <laughs> That'd be cool. Wow. Nice. Yeah, isn't that cool? That is cool. I mean, sit down. Feel free to shoot it. Pop some prey dogs. It's dead on at 100. Well, there's a bunch of dead ones out there. I wonder where they came from. <laughs> You've been having a little bit of fun this afternoon. Oh, there's one right there. Let's see if we can get him out of here. Sweet trigger. Holy yeah. smokes. Why didn't you tell me about that? That is nice. Here we go. I see him. Right in front of him. I'd come up one tenth of a mil. Or one. Oh! Yeah! It was on him. I, I don't know what what it did, but it was uh, I know it was close to it. It looked like his body maybe fell into the hole. It was real close. Yeah, it's about 250 yards. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's going to be real close to that. Yeah, let me scan it or scan a laser here real quick. Yeah, you're 324 yards that green patch. Good God. The scope that I'm using on the Caitlin this afternoon is an XRS. It's made by Bushnell Elite Tactical. It's their high-end line. 
uh, and, and the scope is absolutely amazing. Crystal clear optics, and it has a reticle that allows me to do holdovers. I don't, when I'm out here predator hunting or if I'm out here uh, varmint hunting, I'm not taking the time to dial in adjustments. I take a look at my shot. The prairie dog will usually stand there even if you miss. You can see exactly where your round hits, and with the mill reticle in it, I can then compensate and then get back onto the prairie dog and hit him with the next shot. So I'm just using it for holdovers. This scope works great in that capacity. I have a Midwest Industries mount that I've used previously on other rifles. I've used it on my Desert Tech, for example. I was in a hurry. Uh, the guys at Falcor sent me this rifle to use for this hunt. And so I got the rifle in, I just grabbed a loose scope that happened to be sitting in the, in the safe. And when I put the two together, when I got out here, I made a newbie mistake. You'll notice that this is one of the new Midwest Industries triple clamp mounts. One of the clamps is out here on the rail section and uh, on the handrail. And you, you don't want to do that, guys. And, and we found out when I was resting the gun out here on the end, it was causing barrel flex and my, my accuracy wasn't there. It was stringing shots at 100 yards. When I, and I figured it out, what I had done, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've actually done a new mistake and I've put this too far forward. I need a different type of mount, which I'll fix later. So we're just resting it up here next to the receiver, which then gets rid of any flex that might be in the handguard, which then would be transmitted to the scope, which would cause it to be off at 100, 200, 300 yards. But aside from that, it's working very, very well, as long as I keep it rested the way you see here, which some of you guys are probably wondering, why do I have the rest so close to the receiver? Another thing that's kind of cool and new, this is the very first time I've used it, and if you're wondering where you're getting some of that cool scope cam footage, this is the system that we're using. Let me get it, uh, take my iPhone off here. So you can use it with pretty much any phone type device, any Droid or iPhone. This is an iPhone 7 Plus, and it's called the Side Shot, and it's a scope cam. And this is an early prototype. They have a Facebook page. I'll put a link to their Facebook page down below. But um, I'm testing it out for them. Right now, most of these parts are 3D printed, but they're going into production. And so far, this is the best scope cam system I've ever used. It's handling the recoil of the 5.56, which isn't much, much better than anything I've ever seen that clamps the ocular side of a scope. This thing clamps to the scope body. It can do one inch all the way up to 34 millimeter tubes. And uh, it's really simple to set up. And once you get it all set up, you just slide your phone in and you flip the little end piece up here and just lock it down. Let me turn the gun around here so I can do it. You just apply a little bit of pressure and thumb tighten and it's all set up. Then when you want to record the shot, you just reach over, hit the record button on your phone and like magic, you're recording right through your scope. So it has a little prism in here and it's not messing with my vision whatsoever and it's tapping that light off with, with that prism and shooting the light to the left and back into my eye. So it's seeing exactly what I'm seeing. And so far it seems to be working pretty good. We're playing around with the focus and stuff like that with the application that goes on your phone. But um, so far we've had pretty good results with it. We'll have to see what kind of footage we have when we get back. Now, who was shooting this? Me. <laughs> okay. I got a headshot on a prairie dog yeah. right over here. Really? With a handgun, yeah. I didn't even hear it. Must have been suppressed. Oh yeah. Have you seen that new Hush 9mm? That, uh, oh, that's what you were shooting? Yeah. Okay. That's the reason why I didn't hear it. Is that STI 1911 with a 9K? Double yep, double stack. Omega 9K silencer. We have one of the prototype guns that Freedom is having built and it's for their Hush line. And it's marked Hush on the 1911 which is built by STI. This is the prototype. We're gonna to try to get some prairie dogs with this thing. Of course, we're using some of their 165 grain hush ammo and it is silly quiet. It's like 22 quiet. It's really, really quiet. Now we have a prairie dog that's out there about 50 yards. He's kind of hard to see. He's, he's standing flat next to his berm. I have to hold over in the sights. We have suppressor height sights on here, but um, still have to hold over considerably to try to get the shot on this little guy at that distance. So I fell short on that shot, but he's still there. Way over. Oh, oh, oh! I think I may have got him. Let's go over and check it out. This is where we were, we were shooting. Yeah. He just went in his hole. I'm just gonna be hateful and fire around down in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you can see where the bullets were hitting right here. 
and this is the hole he ducked down into. I don't know if I got him. If I did, he got into his hole. Sometimes you'll hit him, wound him, and he'll go in their hole and die. Boy, that was a good long shot, somebody pop. <laughs> imagine if this was a real competitive deal. Could you imagine? I mean, I, I've been on some of these shoots that are so competitive, it's like nobody's going to, to, you know, to, to give anybody any slack at all. It's like, you know, there's one. Okay, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> The ammunition that we're using this afternoon is a new line from Freedom Munitions, and it's called their Depredation, and it uses a 55 grain VMAX bullet, and it's using Vitivori powder, so it gives you a little bit more consistent burn. It's very similar to some of their other hunting lines that they have out there, chambered in 5.56 or 2.23, but it's using that Vitivori powder, which gives you more consistency and better accuracy. So again, this is a new product from them. This is what the packaging looks like, and we're having some pretty darn good luck with it this afternoon on these prairie dogs. So far, I've gotten a couple of kills out past 300 yards with it. That's about 300 yards you're shooting at, Jeremy. <laughs> it's really hard to guess distances out here, guys. You really need a good laser rangefinder. Right now, I'm using one that's built by Nikon. They rolled this out at SHOT Show this year. This is the Monarch, and it's the version 7i VR, and it has image stabilization, and it is unbelievable. I've used a lot of rangefinders in my day, and one of the hardest parts to do, especially when you're hunting, when you're moving and you're stalking, your heart's beating and, and your adrenaline's flowing and when you try to get a laser range on something on your game, you're shaking all over the place and you can't get the crosshair and the laser range finder right on the game. Try to rest against a tree or whatever. You don't have to do this with this new Monarch. As soon as you press that fire button, it stabilizes the image and it's just like a stabilizer in a handy camera. Um, or a, uh, not a handy cam, but like a camcorder or something like that. When you turn on image stabilization, that's what this is doing. And I'm having a lot of good luck with it. It's very fast and very accurate. And I'm really impressed with this. You can usually find these over at Optics Planet. And if you look down in the description below, I typically have a discount code for you guys. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? He went right back in his hole, but no, I he's hit dead. Him. Yeah, no, he's, he's dead. He's you dead. squashed him. That's nice. Perfect. I know we got to do this little video deal, but there are prairie dogs <laughs> everywhere, folks. The sun has come out and the prairie dogs are everywhere. And so we got to little, get a little, little video shot and take a break from shooting them. <laughs> I mean, originally what we wanted to talk about was prairie dogs, why it's so much fun to hunt them and why are we hunting them? You know, the, the thing about it is, is that as uh, people that love guns, we love to shoot. Yes. Okay. And, and the thing about it is my audience predominantly we're I mean we're hunters we're not we're not shooters your audience primarily a bunch of shooters I mean y'all shoot a yeah. lot yeah but hunters don't shoot a lot unless you're gonna come and shoot prairie dogs and this is about the most fun that you can have when you shoot a lot of stuff and you're a hunter and I think this is wonderful because we're doing a we're doing a good service for the landowner right uh, I mean the prairie dogs do a lot of damage and a lot of people don't really realize that but the land out here is, it, this is for agriculture. I mean, there's cattle out here, there's wildlife, deer, and antelope that live out here. And the, the primary income source off of this is agriculture. And so these prairie dogs, they're not an invasive species. They just, they're, they're native. They come in here, but they populate so fast and they eat the grass and that competes with the cattle. And they need a natural predator, right? And we're their natural predator. Well, well, and coyotes one of, and, and one eagles of. and hawks and everything else. And so what happens is a lot of people will say, well, you know, you don't come in here and, and you're not eating them. Well, you doggone right, we're not eating them. Yeah. That doesn't mean that they're not getting eaten. That's right. I mean, we walk around here after after we get done and we can see all the bones laying out there and you see all the prairie dog poop. I mean, you, all that prairie dog poop is from eating the grass. I mean, they destroy the country. And so what we're doing, some people will actually come out and poison prairie dog mounts. And I, I really don't like that. I, right. I mean, 
uh, you know, we say we we uh, we want to shoot them. Uh, we don't want to kill them all. Right. But I mean, but we want to do. We want to go if shooting Control is fun. Them. It, right. It's fun, and what it allows us to do, it allows us to hone our shooting skills. It allows us to read the wind, you know, to learn our equipment, to play around a little bit, have fun. I mean, when you go deer hunting, you take one shot and you're done. Right. Okay, you come prairie dog shooting and you know you can shoot a thousand rounds and you're not done. You keep no. at it. You better bring a few thousand rounds. Yeah, and so, <laughs> and so the whole deal is, is, as we're out here, it's all about fun. It's all about trying to, trying to, to hone our skills, to become better marksmen. And, and, and here's the next deal. I look at it as hunting prairie dogs is a social event. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an agree. opportunity for us to get together. I mean, right. it's like we live in different parts of the country. We have different demographics, but you know what? It's it's freedom munitions. It's the shooting that winds us bringing us together. Exactly. That's what I like. I mean, and so I always look for that common thread that unites us, and it's uh, our Second Amendment uh, rights. It's uh, our love of our country. It's our love of our firearms and love of of shooting and hunting. I 100% agree. And what's kind of neat is that, that crossover in our audiences. So you have the primarily the hunters. And the people that watch my channel like the history of military firearms, military firearms, just modern firearms in general. Mm -hmm. But you'll notice the weapons that we're out here using this afternoon are AR-15s. Yeah. They're modern sporting rifles right. is what they've been defined as. Now, the anti-gunners will call them assault weapons, which is a made-up term. There's no such thing. Right. They made that up in the Clinton era so they could ban something based upon the way it looked. Yep. Because it's just a self-loading rifle. But but they're they're so fun to shoot. I mean, they, they they're are. they are affordable, they're fast, they're fun, they're accurate. They're, they, There's, there's a key, they're accurate, right? Every single thing about them. I mean, a lot of people think that bolt guns are more accurate than these gas guns. No, no. no. Not anymore. Not anymore. The gas guns, they have taken gas guns to a new level. <laughs> and I'm, when we're shooting targets that are this big out there at 500 yards, they're pretty doggone accurate. Exactly. If we were having this conversation 40, 50 years ago, I would agree with you. Bolt action is a better choice for accuracy. Yep. In this day and age, we have AR-15s. That Falcor I have will literally shoot sub-MOA groups at 100 yards. Absolutely. That's enough accuracy for us to hit an 8-inch target out to 500 yards. That's right. And so what we're winding up doing, we're we're testing our equipment, we're Ooh. testing our ability, our skill to be able to read the wind and then to shoot and become better. And so that way, when we do go big game hunting, and we're out there and we got a deer at 400 yards and we got the right wind and all, and, we, and we've got a rest and we know we've got one shot to make, mm -hmm. we can make that one shot. That's the absolute truth. Thank you for coming Thank out here. You. Thank you. Thanks been for a coming out. I mean, I, I have had a blast. I mean, this has been a lot of fun. <laughs> and now I think, okay, we got this video stuff done, and now let's go ahead and start popping some more. They're crazy. tormenting us. <laughs> we're standing here having a conversation, guys, and they're popping up like 25 yards away from us, and we've been shooting out to 200 to try to get them, and we stopped to talk, and there they are. Like, I could throw a rock and hit them. You know what? I need to get the handgun. Let's go get a handgun, because, yeah. <laughs> One part about being a responsible sportsman, guys, is picking up your mess when you're done. Now, we're going to leave the bodies lay out there. There's no need to pick them up. There's other predators that need to eat, too. But uh, the brass, we're going to pick up and pick up all of our junk, all of our boxes, and all that stuff because we don't want to make a mess out here on this farmer's property. See him? <laughs> you like that, don't you? Were you on him? <laughs> well, guys, it's time to pack up and get out of here. We've had a great time today shooting prairie dogs. Again, we're in southeast Montana. Now, I've never been out here hunting before. I will have to say that I want to come back. The prairie dogs are everywhere. The hunting is great and it was a real blast getting to hang out with Mr. Keith Warren himself and also his daughter Maddie and, and several other folks and, and including guys from Freedom Munitions who made this whole trip possible. Guys, if you would like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel, the best way to do that right now is swing by and check out our patron page. We have all sorts of cool stuff we do over there, exclusive content, behind the scenes stuff, and also we give you some blowout deals through Copper Custom that only our patron subscribers have access to. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, you can just swing by and check out Copper Custom, which is our online store. You can find us at coppercustom.com. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for all those years of support, and we'll talk to you guys soon.